Hi everyone, this is Trip. Well, I've been promising or threatening a kind of a shopping video, like a, a grocery haul thing. This is the first one I'm doing. You know, I don't know why she wanted to get this for me, this uh, Go Bond Diabetics Dry Skin Relief. I don't know if that's a real thing or if it's a marketing thing, but okay, let's... Let's get started with it now. So this is all from Dollar General, which is a, uh, a store that has maybe like, I don't know, 15 or 20,000 locations, mostly through the U.S. And the state that has the most is Texas, has about 1,800, and Georgia is second with about, what, about 12 or 1,300. And Dollar General started really about 85 years ago as another name and then it changed its name to Dollar General Corporation like 50, 60, 60 or 70 years ago. Not sure. Now let's get busy here. I have my list here. I guess the first thing I'll mention here is the orange juice. This is a no pulp Tropicana orange juice. It's pure premium. Okay. And this cost, what did it cost? It's on my list here. I kind of sort of had them in a little bit of order, but maybe not. No, it's $2.25. This is $2.25. And by the way, I'm sure that everything is, is much higher than it was three years ago. And the cause of that is, as you would expect, the pandemic shortages plus massive government spending and the Federal Reserve, which made money really free through their so-called quantitative easing and keeping the interest rates so low. There we are. I'll put it in the bag because it's cold. And here's the Banquet Chicken Pot Pie. Flaky crust made from scratch, whatever that is. Maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll have one of these in a video. That might be nice. So what did this cost? And I got two of these. I'm only showing one of each of all of these different items. But this one... That's the chicken pot pie. And I got two. They were a dollar fifty. It doesn't seem so bad. But I was thinking they were more like a dollar twenty or a dollar thirty, like uh, in 2019. 2019 is kind of the benchmark for everything. But that was before the pandemic shortages and the government spending and the Federal Reserve keeping the, the rates so low. It's called financial repression. So we'll put it in here to keep it cool also. So here we are. And my wife, I'll call her Patty from here on out because that's her name. Instead of referring to her as my wife. This was $2, this flag. And... That's to go on my, on my father's tombstone because he was very patriotic. And we had a, a flag flying from the house long before it was popular or fashionable, I would say, which probably dates from around 2001 when a lot of people gave more attention to flying the flag. We had a flag since um, the 1980s Maybe before that, I can't remember. So we'll put the flag over, over here. And I need to check these off so I don't forget. A little bit nervous, the first one of these that I've done. And here is a, a Merry Christmas deal. It's called a Christmas Gnome Shape stand 
This was five dollars. And she did all this shopping here, by the way. So I guess you can see this here. We needed something else for Christmas because we have so many things already in the house. And I love them. I love the smell of wood. So that's sort of a place of honor for about six weeks out of the year. Then it'll find a place of honor in the closet for the next uh, 10 or 11 months. But that's okay. Okay. Cheerios. Cheerio, mate. Here's a little ASR, ASMR sound. It's kind of loud. And this is full too. I don't think that. And I don't do ASMR, by the way. Although people interpret it as such, and I, I did when I started the channel, kind of. This is a large size of Cheerios. Well, come on, Trip, what is the price? And I should have been going in order here. Oh, well, I did. Large size Cheerios. And this was five dollars. By the way, the Cheerios are the same price as the flag over here. And I told her that, you know, five dollars doesn't mean anything anymore. But when I started working on the farm, we moved from Miami, I remember being paid four dollars. All the farm hands were paid four dollars a day four dollars a day and my dad paid me the same as them and at first I kind of played around mom said I mostly just played around in the field but I was like maybe nine or ten maybe ten or eleven years old by the time I was 13 or so even even though I was the smallest person in the field I was expected and I did the same work as people as adults twice my size and several times my age. And it was $4 a day from getting up in the morning, like maybe five o'clock or something. And finally getting to sleep at night is like at maybe, maybe nine or 10 o'clock, especially during tobacco season. Because that was from before, that was dawn until after dark. In fact, we had to shine the lights from the trucks into the barn so we could see see what we were doing and people had to climb up to the top of the barn into the tiers they call them it was like a two-story building kind of okay enough reminiscing so but I have so many stories you know so Cheerios five dollars and every year that rate went up for the farm laborers, a dollar a year from about 1962 or three up until about 68 or 69. That's when I lost track. Well, I was still working in the early 70s, so that was during college. I think it got up to maybe like 17 or 18 dollars a day. And I thought that was big money. Okay, we got rid of the, the, uh, the Cheerios story, the long boring farm story, uh, the gumbo. Progresso chicken sausage gumbo. How big is this? It's like uh, 19 ounces, okay. And that was was what what was it trip it's on here I know I just saw it there it is 
chicken progresso chicken gumbo it's two dollars and sixty five cents two sixty five kind of a cheap meal I guess oh there's the, the mail truck going by okay what else do I have over here this is delicious cornbread I highly recommend you trying this Jiffy corn muffin mix delicioso muy delicioso it might be America's favorite, I don't know, but I can tell you it is very, very good. And that cost, I got two of them and they were only 85 cents each. Only 85 cents. Brings us down to this uh, Gold Bond Ultimate Diabetic Dry Skin Relief. Well, yeah, I'm a diabetic. I hate to be reminded of that all the time. I'm on the lower area of, of di diabetes. So, what happened to the microphone? So, it was $6. $6, the most expensive thing here. I don't know if it really is good for diabetics if it's a or if it's just a marketing thing. I don't know. What else do I have? Oh, the Tylenol. This Tylenol. Twenty-four caplets. Caplets? Yeah, capsules maybe. Extra strength. Twenty-four. And this was four dollars and seventy five cents. Let's balance this up here like that. Oh, we can't see the other stuff. I want it all to be up here up front, kind of. All right. I'll learn as I go along. Like I said, this is my first such video. And then the smart water. Three bottles of this for a dollar seventy five cents each. And I told her the only smart thing about this was the, the marketers who sell it, they branded it as smart, it makes it sound like it's a smart buy. It may not be any different from the water in, that comes out of the tap. I don't know. I expect and hope that it's a higher standard. I just don't know. And there's a writing on here that tells about it. Maybe some, sometime I'll review this and I'll just talk about it. And maybe, maybe we can figure out if it's really that pure or what. I know recently we did have a a letter from the county saying there was a problem with a couple of things in the water. And the total of all this, I think that was everything, it came up to $36.53. And that includes the tax, about $2 or so of tax. Now it would have been more that she saved five dollars, six dollars, six dollars on some kind of coupon that they gave her, or it's based, I think, on how much you buy. If it's under a certain amount, it's five dollars. If it's a higher amount, then it's ten dollars, maybe. So it actually would have been six dollars more if we had not been able to, if we had not gotten this price discount. And this looks like the, now this is a chance to win, a chance to win a hundred dollars, a hundred dollar gift card, but you have to go and sign up at 
Dollar General Customer First dot com. Specifically, yeah, DG Customer First dot com. So tell us about your visit and we'll enter you for a hundred dollar gift card and the whole drawings every week. So supposedly you can win something every week. And by the way, they're now hiring at Dollar General. So if you're looking for work in a company with a stock price that it seems to be very strong and keeps going up. Maybe you should check out dollargeneral.com or you can use your phone for this, uh, what's it called, a hologram or something? I don't know how it works, but apparently you hold your phone up there and you take a picture or something. You can figure that out. You know more about it than I do. And that concludes my first my first shopping video that that is my first grocery haul I have two or three videos back on my channel from Walmart or somewhere from three years ago but this is the first time I ever did this and I kind of like to do this every month to sort of track the prices and you can tell me down below in the comments what the prices for these things are in your area. I'd like to know that. I imagine there are more in, in urban areas, in cities, but they could be more in rural areas. Just don't know. So, this is Tripp. Thank you for joining me for this. I hope you watched until the end. Although a few of you did, I'm sure. Those who, who did, I much appreciate that. And I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like. I don't do that much anymore. Because if people subscribed, I'd have a lot more subscribers. Bye-bye.